EcoWorld Development Group's unit will be buying a piece of land from a company related to Kazana National and Tansri Lim Kang Hu's Iskanda Waterfront Holdings for 304.92 million ringgit. According to a boss filing, unit Milia Spring had signed a developmental agreement with Pemodalan Darul Ta'zim and a sale and purchase agreement with River Retreat. River Retreat is 80% owned by Iskanda Investment and 20% owned by Iskandar Coast, a unit of Iskandar Waterfront. Kazana owns a controlling 60 percent stake in Iskanda Investment. Under the proposed land deal, PDT agreed to nominate Milia to buy the land from River Retreat for development. EcoWorld also has to pay PDT, the Johor State Government's investment arm, 20% of Milia's profit after tax from each phase of the proposed development. The land, which is located next to the group's eco-botanic township, has been earmarked for a mixed development targeting the M40 group with a preliminary estimated GDV of 1.67 billion ringgit. Eco World says the acquisition is expected to contribute positively to its future earnings and is due to be completed by the end of next year. Brahim's Holdings says the departure of its external auditors, PricewaterhouseCoopers, was due in part to its board's view that a change of auditors would be good for corporate governance. In a boss filing, Brahim's explains that PwC had been the group's auditors for more than 15 years. As such, the change is timely. Brahim's explains that a change in auditors would enable the company to benefit from fresh perspectives and views and enhance the value of the audit of the group. The company was also quick to stress that PwC PwC's resignation was after a mutual agreement and that the fact that the board is actively pursuing the formalisation and implementation of its regularization plan to lift it out of PN17. Replacing PwC will be Messrs. Baker Tilly, Montero, Heng. However, Brahim's share price has already suffered, losing around 24% of its market capitalization since PwC's resignation was announced on December 12th. Today, it closed 8.7% down at 21%. Set. The 1MDB 6.5 billion US dollar bonds criminal case against Goldman Sachs and one of its Asian entities has been transferred to the High Court from the Magistrates Court today. Deputy Public Prosecutor Norina Bahadun had applied to have the case against Goldman Sachs International and Goldman Sachs Asia tried at the High Court. The application was allowed by High Court Judge Mohamed Zaini Maslan following no objection raised by Goldman Sachs' counsel Hisham Tepotek. The judge also set boxing day to hear the application to transfer the 6.5 billion US dollar bonds case against Goldman Sachs Singapore from the lower courts to the high court. Justice Zaini set this date because of the service of the notice of summons against Goldman Sachs Singapore is still in process. Malaysia is the first country in the world to prosecute the Wall Street Bank as a company seeking 2.7 billion US dollars in fines for its role in allegedly misleading investors in the 1MDB debacle. Uzma is expecting a record-breaking year in terms of revenue for FY20, according to MD and CEO Datuk Kamaro Rezwan Mohamed. He believes that in 2020, the group, which specialises in offering integrated offshore wealth solutions, will report the highest ever revenue in its 20-year history. To date, Uzma's highest full-year revenue was $516.25 million in FY15. However, that was also the year that Uzma's net profit dropped to a low of $5.36 million, ringgit, thanks to a mix of forex losses and higher operating expenses. Kamarol says that Uzma is also currently preparing its dividend guidelines, adding that it is in the interest of the group to start paying dividends really soon. Uzma last paid an interim dividend of 3.78 cent per share in FY14. Tijaya Land is partnering up with Japan's Tokyo Land to be its strategic partner for its 1.5 billion ringgit Riviera City development in Brickfields. In a statement, the property developer said that Tokyo Land subsidiary Tokyo Land Asia will invest 80 million ringgit in Riviera City, comprising 40 million as equity participation and 40 million as business financing. TLA will acquire 30% in Riviera City, with Tijaya holding the rest. The two parties will co 
will develop an office suites tower and two towers of service departments on top of a podium. Deputy Group MD Limpo Yit says that the partnership will provide Tijaya with an opportunity for growth expansion as well as access to new markets, leveraging on TLA's international presence. Tokyo Land is a core subsidiary of the Tokyo Fudosan Group, a component stock of the Nikkei 225 Index.